Hmm. Okay. A whole bunch of struts. See if that makes a difference, huh? Okay. Wait a second for the physics to kick in. Why? Oh, it's so sad, isn't it? Isn't it sad? Feel whole rod and they're okay. We're, oh, the rod, they're actually smiling about it. Sickos. Uh, should I go ahead and try? Let's go ahead and try a launch without any payload in it, even though I know that that has caused problems in the past. Uh, we'll give we'll we'll give it a try. Okay, here we are. Physics about to kick in. I see it sag, and I see it hold. Maybe that payload is just too much for it. Maybe that that goal isn't going to work so well, you know. Okay, well we'll work with what we have. Let me see. Is there anything? Okay, so let's just try it. There's precision controls on. SAS is on. Um, you know what? I, I should try one thing first. Let's make certain is that all our engines burning. Okay, yeah, that's good. I, I already know that the way this is this is going to work. Good. Okay, throttle up. Oh, look how slowly it's throttling up. And let's light these things. Okay, ooh, okay, there's already exceeding two Gs. Kind of scary. And, yeah, I'm not touching the controls, just the SAS and everything, we're holding it steady. Yeah, now we're pushing three Gs. It needs, it's, it's, this is too much thrust for too, too little weight. But I'm more interested, oh, let me see, look how fast these things are going to burn out. I did not put anywhere near enough uh, uh, fuel into those solid rocket boosters, not for the thrust that I'm getting out of them. And I don't want to minimize the thrust, so they need significantly more fuel. We'll see exactly how long they burn, and we'll like do some multiplication from there. I'm going to pitch back some. Yeah, right about there. Approaching. Yeah, okay, we already got some mock effects happening. 20 seconds in. Okay, the solids are going to be done. We're at 22 seconds. We can disengage. Oh, what happened? Did I... Hang on. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, bad things, bad things. Please don't destroy my orbiter. Please don't destroy my airplane. Oh, bad things are happening. Oh, okay. You know what? We got whenever... Okay, here, let's just look at this. Adapter was damaged by engine exhaust from... B9 adapter. Damaged by engine exhaust. That's bad. Okay. And separation is stage two. Career's... Oh, okay, here we go. So, lots of things were... Did I just screw up the staging? Okay, I see where I separated stage two, and that should have been just the solids separating. But now we have stretchable fuel tanks colliding into things. Did it break loose, or did I screw up the staging? We'll take a look at that. Okay, back, yeah, back to the drawing board. Okay, staging, let me see. Oh, I did, I did just get the staging perfectly backwards. What an idiot. Okay, let's change that. <sighs> yeah, I, I was separating the external fuel tank with the solid rocket boosters still attached to them. Okay, uh, okay, tweakable parameters. Restore. Uh, let's look at fuel levels. So the thing lasted about 20 seconds. I want it to last about 120 seconds. I need six times the fuel quantity that I have currently. So, um, resource solid amount, which means I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Whenever I was, here, let's max it out. 
All right, may I exit out? It only goes up to 25,000, and by the math, the rough and ready math in my head, which I just did, I'd actually need 30,000. And I actually thought I was doing too much. <laughs> yeah, about like that. Okay, good. Okay, so that should solve that issue. What is this thing now, now I have to say about it? That's actually a more reasonable thrust to weight ratio at takeoff for total mass is... Yeah, total mass is like 400 tons. It's actually, yeah, it's not so bad. Now, it said that we were, this, that this part was being damaged by engine exhaust from this. This is, this is what we're calling the mogul, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, mogul. Um, let's try something here. We pull that off. Maybe we'll we'll try doing it like oh no I forgot that Okay, yeah, all of these guys Yeah my OMS engines are all attached to that. Okay, okay, let's do it this way. And the fuel lines, oh I have to redo all that. Let's get rid of this adapter. As that is causing issues. Let's just attach this naked engine back there. That's yeah, I mean it is ugly, but it's not that ugly, I guess. I'll just keep trying to tell myself that. I may have to come up with a totally separate plan for my OMS engines. Um, what am I going to do about the OMS engines at this point? I could attach them to the outside of the wing. There's a thought. So be partially buried inside of there. If it gimbals even a little bit, it's gonna be burning those things, though, isn't it? Okay, yeah, that is acceptable. You know what? I can actually angle it down like just one click in, in order to uh, prevent it from burning the engine. It'll be okay. As long as, you know, it's mirrored on both sides of the wing. It's mirrored on both sides of fuselage and mirrored both sides of the wing. Staging check. This seems... Whoops, where's that? Hang on. Glad I looked at that. We've got our OMS engines all the way up there. I want those to burn. Oh, and I forgot to fix the fuel lines. And run from there. To there. That's perfectly correct. And we'll duplicate it up here. I forgot to give this thing an initial angle. So what kind of a tweakable... Uh, maybe I can get away with it if we just have the... Maybe give it a large gimbal range to start off with. Let's go to give a gimbal range of like 10. Okay, now is anything going to break? See some sagging. Nothing appears to be breaking. So, yeah, that's good. Here, close that one. Precision control, SAS. Okay, let's light it. All our engines light. Throttle up. And SRBs. Yep, that appears to be working, huh? Yeah, maybe I was uh, all this time goofing off with angling the... pre-angling the engines. Maybe I didn't have to, although it's been real sluggish to pitch back, but it is doing it. Okay, hold it right there, but then it's moving so slowly. The time is moving slowly because of all the physics happening. <laughs> Here's a more reasonable, that's just about, just, just under 2 Gs at initial launch. It's more what I'm accustomed to seeing. Yeah, maybe I didn't have to angle those engines off right offhand. This, I mean, the plug-in is going to help some with that. Okay, let's take a look here. Make certain that is draining correctly. 
Uh, also want to see if I can get in here. Oh, that's right. Th but these are... I wonder. Maybe I should... Oh, I forgot. To, I was just thinking that I should shut the OMS engines down because they're pulling fuel from the internal fuel supply. And, and this is not designed to replenish those. Well, it could be made to do so. Maybe. Ah, uh, no, but that runs into issues. The game has trouble dealing with that. Uh, but I've, now I realize I forgot to set up the action group for that. So that's it. We're, it's just going to burn. <laughs> okay, 30 seconds in. That appears to be roughly a quarter of the solid fuel consumed. So maybe we've got it just about right there. Let's pitch back just a little bit more. The, the time moving so slowly helps in making this kind of more controllable. Ooh, what's this? M open ventilation shrouds. Hey, let's do that. Let's open those things. Yep, those will help cool the SRBs, make them run better. <laughs> I like it. I'm saying we need to do it for the other side. Don't really need this anymore. Pitch back some more. Okay, one of my viewers had something to say that if I was going to... Be, I could mount these engines straight and then just go in and I could slow down the gimbal speed. Something I've never tried, but it may be... It probably is definitely worth taking a look at that might improve some of the controllability of this. Maybe I need to actually increase the gimbal range some. I forget what I have it lit, set to because right now it's not wanting to pitch back. Oh, oh well it is now. Okay, I just spoke too soon. Yeah, pitch back some more. That's being nicely controllable. Okay, we're pushing up towards 3G's, but not there yet. Yeah, I need to hold back, pitching back. Otherwise, oops, what did uh, something burn out? Oh, the... The jets, I was forgetting that. Okay, well, that was lucky. That could have been disastrous. Um, and also... Oh, wait a second. Let's... Did, is this... What happened here? Why did that... Uh, that... That shouldn't... Why did this one turn off? Okay, hang on. Stop, stop, stop. All right, I need to just go and fix action groups. I need to fix action groups. Uh, the, a, lot of, a lot of this is very nicely controllable, and it is working. Uh, just the action groups are off. Okay, let's revert flight. Okay, so let's just take a look at engine action groups. Whenever I hit action group number one, I want that to shut off my jet engines. Which I... Yeah. That's already set up. And I also want it to toggle these. That is all set up correctly. That's very good. Okay, action group two, I want it to be this one. Now, wait a second, that looks like... Yeah, that's... Did I just hit the wrong button earlier? Toggle engine, good. And then, I know I need to... I forgot to set this up. Action group three is the OMS engines. So I can think, since there's uh, relatively little thrust, I'm probably... I'm going to need to learn to leave those off at launch. Actually, let's put them in a separate stage. How about that idea? We'll just solve that issue right now. Uh, do I want to do anything with tweakable parameters with the gimbal range of that main engine? What do I have the gimbal range set at right now? Field mass... Gimbal range. I've got it set to 10. Let's... Yeah, let's increase it to 15. Give us some more controllability and I also I need to remember I'm gonna take a look at trying to figure out what what is it how to change the speed settings the thing is you know it does it does feel good we are very gradually getting closer to resolving 
the issues. It is, it is getting closer to being a viable vehicle, although I am still concerned about being able to have uh, cargo inside of there, a heavy cargo without everything exploding. That That is still upsetting, but we have more launch stability enhancers, which may assist with that. Okay, precision control's on, SAS is on. Okay, all those light except for the... Oh, listen, there's only two up there. There should be four. Very, very gradually, slowly and painfully, I do occasionally learn. Let's move those up there. Good. Actually, I think I want to... Let's move these down, because maybe those could be useful for boosting orbit. Let's put these after I get rid of the solids, but before I jettison the external fuel tank. We'll have the option we'll light the, the OMS engines. Oh, I did a bad, bad thing. I forgot to stand it up. This is going to be unfortunate. Ooh. <laughs> it just snapped the whole tank off. Well, I man, the orbiter's tough. That thing is really tough. <laughs> That's excellent. All right, stop. All right, revert flight. Okay, yeah, that looks like a more reasonable launch configuration right there. <laughs> that was a good mistake. I enjoyed that one. Okay, position control, SAS, stage. Okay, so we've got our four jet engines and our one main rocket engine. Throttle up and boosters. Pitch back some. Okay, wow, look at that, a gimbal angle. Okay, that actually looks fairly reasonable, but I can see why um, a friend was advising that I slow down the, 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 gimbal, the gimbal speed. The thing gets it, it even running at the slow, at the, the time is running in slow motion. You can see how that thing just snaps over, which looks kind of ugly. Uh, but it is kind of functional at the moment, though. So if if we do want to put a hundred ton payload in there, it looks I think we're going to have to increase the thrust of both the 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 main engines and the the boosters. But we don't need to increase it a whole lot, you understand. But it does need increase increased some. Okay, so we're coming up on one minute, and it looks like our solid rocket boosters are real close to a halfway point of the fuel. Yeah, that looks like we've... actually looks like we estimated that just about perfectly. I'm happy with that. Let's pitch back some more. Get more of a gravity turn going. Uh, thank you, guy whose name I do not recall about telling me that I did not have to uh, pre-angle the engines. I could just give it a higher gimbal, a gimbal range. That was a very smart comment. I love that people watch my, my videos are smart. I quite often have smart comments like that. Come on, guys, we can pitch back more. Oh, look at that wobble. I need to strap that thing down. A nose cone on that in the tank. It's kind of upsetting. Okay, starting to get up there towards like 3G. Oh, I forgot to turn the the jet engines off. Could have been disastrous. Okay, exceeding 3Gs. But I wonder if I actually throttle the engine down. Will we lose control of anything? No, we're still okay. Let's try to keep our... Jeez. Like, keep our acceleration under, like, three. Okay, we need more acceleration for... More thrust in order to balance those. Yeah. Well, how much thrust are these things making at the moment? That's where... Okay, yeah, these things have a, a fixed... Yeah, 4,000 thrust. <laughs> and a correction. So that's... Inc very rapidly increasing the maximum range of maximum gimbal range. But it's still working. We'll get more controllers. Four G's. 
and still increasing. Our apoaps is kind of climbing out of control. Maybe I actually need to reduce the amount of fuel in those. Okay. Uh, oops. Oh, oh, stop. Shut that off. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, they need separatrons. I was thinking that because these, uh, <laughs> these monstrously powerful decouplers, I thought maybe they might not need separatrons, but it turns out they do. Okay. Okay, this is good, though. Uh, we're still, still, things are still working. Uh, let's go ahead and stage and, and wake up the, uh, I want to make certain, yeah, that it was not pulling any fuel from inside here, was it? If I can, I guess I don't really have to look at that right now. It'll be obvious once we get rid of the external fuel tank. Hey man, this is the first time the rock has been in space. How about that? Let's turn some RCS on. Let's try and pitch it back down. Point it more kind of horizontal-like. And still, uh, we may actually have too much fuel in this thing. But then we, uh, we're going to be talking about increasing the thrust, which will make the engines a lot thirstier. You increase the thrust for a heavy payload in there. Um, hello? Can we compensate for this, please? Yeah, it's gonna kinda wobble. I wanna point this thing down underneath the horizon. It will still work if I don't... Yeah, it'll still work if I don't have the RCS cooking. Okay, yeah, it's still controllable. Okay, this part is... It's all working according to plan at the moment, you know? I'm going to shrink that apoapsis down to more reasonable size. Plenty of fuel in there. Too much fuel, really, for launching this thing without a payload. Our apoapsis is growing again, but all right. Okay, we're, the periapsis is starting to come around to positive numbers, which is my traditional cutoff point. Even that apoapsis is growing out of control. <laughs> You know what, I'm going to cut it off a little bit early. Okay, and stage. <laughs> Things heavy enough to separate. I actually like that. That's a, it's a more sedate, a more controlled separation, you know. Let's hit two to toggle that engine off. Oh, we still have most of our OMS engine remaining, which is very good. Uh, let's roll this thing over right side up. Open up the cargo bay doors. Yeah, everything happens slowly. I need to, I need to take a look to see if I can find that uh, dynamic time compression mod. I don't know if did that thing ever get updated. Will it work for the current version of the game? I was under the impression, I think it, I thought it broke in version 0.21, but I don't know, did it ever get fixed after that? The electric charge seems to be holding steady. What happens if we turn on the lights? Yeah. That's good. What happens if we have the lights on we start maneuvering? Okay, well, it looks like if we do that, then it'll very... Okay, yeah, it'll take just a little, bare, a little bit of charge, but it'll keep up just fine. Not a problem. Here, let's turn on some RCS just to help me maneuver this thing. Got like 1,600 monopropellant, and this thing is so massive. Yeah, let's open these up just for the sake of opening stuff up. Toggle. Toggle. 
Okay, a couple of docking ports. I don't know, should I go ahead and look at adding a third docking port up on top, the more traditional? My thinking on, on that was, I mean, at first, uh, that if I do need to dock something in that direction, then I could place a place inside the cargo bay. What is this? It looks like we have a, a piece of, yeah, that's a piece of of the... Yeah, f egg shaped fuselage shroud. What is that doing in there? Did that get embedded somehow? Oh, I remember. Wait a second. I had a piece of egg shaped fuselage shroud that I thought I attached to something, but I couldn't find it. I remember that. Well, I think I just found it. <laughs> Okay, well, you can see it kind of blended in with this. Th oh, that's why that's looking kind of weird. It looks like we have just enough lights on the underside. We'll be able to see this thing in the when we come around to the night side of the planet. So that makes me happy. Okay, now we throttle up, and now we're running just on the OMS. Looks like I aimed that OMS correctly. Looks like, yeah, that, that, oh, that is not, that OMS is not, um, what am I trying to say? Burning the, anything else. Okay, so, yeah, maybe the OMS, uh, they are generally weaker than some other things I used to working with, but we can definitely, you know, they're definitely usable. shut that off. I just wanted an orbit. Okay. Well, that is a success. Uh, lessons learned. Um, okay. We, the, um, we need some separatrons on the SRBs. Uh, we need to fix this <laughs> piece of, of, of uh, procedural, procedural fuselage, which has embedded itself in this front adapter piece. Uh, what else do I need to do? I need to look up exactly how to go about uh, altering the gimbal speed. Because that was a very good, uh, yeah, very good suggestion about changing that. Because I can see how having it just instantly snap back to center when you release the control, that could end up being a problem. So, But I'm not certain which values to change to what in order to make that work. So, I don't know, that's kind of experimentation. I'll probably do most of that off camera. Get a good get a good screenshot of it. At a good angle. Oh, there we go. That's a pretty good angle. <laughs> cool. Okay, I'm going to cease recording. We're going to let this thing happily orbit for a while, then we'll Come back and see how well it re-enters and lands. Or I may actually revert it. I don't. Maybe, maybe I don't want to do that first test with this fuselage piece in there, complicating things. Yeah. Okay, it orbits though. So I'm happy. <laughs> it's a cool-looking space shuttle. All right, yeah, it's been fun. I will talk to everybody later. Goodbye.